Welcome to drillingcontractor.org. I'm Alex Indris, and I'm here at the 2016 IADC Asset Integrity and Reliability Conference. And joining me here today is Thiago Amato. He's an asset integrity engineer with QGOG. Thiago, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So here at the conference, you gave us a presentation on implementation of ISO 14224 uh, methods for asset integrity within QGOG. Can you tell us about these uh, methods and why you took on the project? ISO, it's a standard for data collection, you know. So as being a standard for data collection, they, it's a guide for developer uh, equipment hierarchy. It's an equipment taxonomy structure. And also, they also have further classes. So... We choose ISO because ISO is a foundation of our maintenance system. It's a base for data collection. QGOG decided to restructure, to review the entire process for the maintenance system. And the hierarchy, the taxonomy structure, is the base for this project. So we also have a legal requirement process review. We have a criticality equipment process review and all the process related to the maintenance system. I was involved with this project because the company believes that a strong maintenance system, a reliable data, it's a base for asset integrity. And uh, what were some of the challenges you experienced uh, during the process and how did you deal with those challenges? Resource is our biggest challenge. Usually it's very hard to get people involved to this project. So our first rig was a Bravo Star during the construction phase. So we have people from uh, Samsung shipyards, I mean QGOG people, to help us to develop those structure. And another challenge was about tag numbers because uh, we need to have a unique tag number for each functional location to our structure. And even our newest rig, we didn't have all equipment with a unique tag number, so we have to develop a lot of um, tag numbers. We have more challenges, especially when we're trying to start our rollout, because we needed to build a team uh, with knowledge, and people didn't know about this standard very well, so we had to teach them to h how to create the structure, to teach them how to search in the drawings. Sometimes they had to go offshore because our drawing was outdated, so they had to uh, cross-reference with the drawings and the fields. And uh, what were the results uh, from the project? Standardization, I would say. I like this word. And uh, we improved a lot our analytic capacity. Now we are able to quickly provide information to rig managers and to the maintenance coordinators to take a better decision during the operation. Well, thanks for chatting with us today. Thank you. And thank you, viewers, for joining us today at drillingcontractor.org.